Good morning, grade fours. How has your week been? I hope it has been lovely. I hope you've had some chances to do some really cool and fun things. Uh, I just like to clear a few things up and just make sure that both you and your parents are all on board with what's going on this week. Um, I know this is an unexpected week. We're supposed to be in school, but um, due to circumstances, we are at home. And the one thing that I want you working on, this is the only mandatory thing, is getting your poem picked and practiced. So we're practicing and we're working on memorizing our poems. That is the only like number one thing that you need to be doing this week. Now besides that, I'm going to put up a few optional activities for if you don't have a lot to do or if you're a little bored or if you just wanna keep you know really on top of it. And one of those activities is a spelling activity with your next week's list. So I will be sending out a picture of what that list looks like. And then on Google Classroom, I've posted two games that you can explore and try out if you would like to. It is not something you have to do, but it is something that I'm hoping will be a little bit fun for you. So I wanna show you how those two games work. As you can see, there are two games here. The first one is called Flower Power, and the other one is called Manipulatives. Flower Power, first of all, is pretty straightforward. I click on it, and then I click on this link up here. And then basically, it'll give you the blank, sort of like Hangman, and you have to guess what the word is. Now, it might be hard for you to know what it is right off the bat, so if you hit this little light bulb here, you get a clue, and you can actually get your first letter from that. And the K, Words ending with C will have the C clue like that. Then all I need to do is get my trusty dusty spelling list out. Once we're getting really good at these, we hopefully won't need the spelling list, but I need it right now. So I'm gonna look through word with two C's. Well, hmm, Arctic has two C's. Let's see if Arctic fits in. A, R, C, T. And if I make a mistake, let's see, I think it's Arctoc. Oh, I lose a petal and I know that that letter isn't correct. So I can keep going until I get all the correct words. Now the hints are all different. For example, this one is a vocabulary word. So it actually gives you a definition. So if I look in my vocabulary, I can probably figure out what that word is. Very likable, adorable. And I can start typing it in as I go. The second game is a little bit different, so I'm gonna click on it again, and once again, I need to click through on that link. And all of a sudden, I have some words that are colorful, and I have some words that are just plain. And the idea is, you take a colorful word, like this one that says double letter, and then under that word, you're gonna put any of the spelling words that have double letters in them. So for example, oh, commitment has double letters, so I could put commitment under here. Dilemma has two M's, so that's a double letter. Oh, and maybe I wanna put terrific under there because there's two R's in terrific. Now, some of these words can be in more than one category, so I recommend starting with just one or two categories, and eventually you can work up to all of them. Maybe I wanna put up the K sound as well. So words that have a K in them. Symbolic ends with the K sound, athletic. And this is what I'm talking about. Terrific technically could go in this column too. So if I wanted to, I could move it over. And this is just a fun way to get recognizing what sort of things are in your spelling words and to move them around a little bit just to see if you can recognize things. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do syllables. Looking for words with three syllables. So da, da, da. Adorable. Oh, that has four. Typical, ah, that has three, so I can put that over here. Astonish, ooh, that has three as well, so I can put it up there. And you're just gonna play with it as you see fit. I hope that helps, and once again, anything that I'm posting besides your poem is optional work. So if you find you don't have a lot of time for it, no worries, but I hope you guys do enjoy. I think these games are sort of fun. So all the best today.